In this video, interesting stories and cases from global citizens around the world will be introduced. With varied expertise areas, these global citizens show how they can bring changes and impact on the society with their passion and concern for the better society and future. We hope that these stories can ignite your passion and interest and give you some ideas for your action as global citizens. This is a phone that is built to last, but what really matters is how it's made. The new Fairphone uses fair materials, like Fairtrade Gold. It's made with recycled plastics, and we strive for fair conditions for the workers. This is what you support when you own a Fairphone. Because how much do we know about our phone? Where is it made? Where does it come from? Who made it? Where does it end up if we don't use it anymore? So not everyone, but some phones are not made to open. And I also know that you, know, you can't even change the battery in that phone. And then again, you ask the question, why is that? What's their thinking behind it? Why don't they want you to open up this phone? Is it the business model? Do you want to make money on repairs? Is it the warranty they, want to, they don't want you to avoid? Well, I, I don't know. But what I do know is that I think it's not fair. Because I think if you can't open it, you don't own it. And ownership, to me, is about being able to take responsibility. It's about engagement. But responsibility comes with understanding things. And I think opening up something is the first step towards understanding something. So let's start opening up our phone. This is Rwanda, a country located in the Great Lakes region in Africa. Rich in natural resources, it's also classified as a high-risk conflict area. These natural resources are an essential part of producing some of our everyday products, especially electronics. The small part that you see here, it makes your phone shake, and that's made of tungsten from here. Tungsten, also known as wolframite, is a chemical element with the symbol W and atomic number 74. Because it is such a heavy metal, it works really well as a counterweight to make your phone vibrate. Fairphone is working with partners to trace the materials in our phone and to source them conflict-free or fair trade as much as possible. Our next step is to source conflict-free tungsten. Conflict-free means profits from mining don't finance war or conflict. And we're especially proud to get our tungsten here to help support a mining community in a conflict region. Here in Rwanda, tungsten is mined mostly underground. After mining, it's washed, separated, dried, and ground into a fine powder. Then it's weighed, logged, and packed. It gets a tag that certifies it comes from this specific mine and validated as conflict-free. Now it's ready to go to our smelter partner in Austria, where it turns into tungsten metal powder. This will be used for the counterweight in the vibration motor. That's the heavy metal you can see vibrating in the Fairphone 2. So a few years back, we started this project called Fairphone, and we were thinking about setting up a campaign around conflict minerals. And we thought, if we set up a campaign, what's the alternative? You have green, en green energy, you have uh, fair trade clothing, but a phone that puts social values first doesn't exist. So we were, you know, we were naive, strategically naive, I'd call it, but we said, why not make that phone ourselves? And why? Because if you make something yourself, and something as complex as a phone, we can actually open up the systems, understand what's behind it, and if you understand things, you can change things. I mean, you can improve things. So through the phone, we were, we were going to improve the system. And people said, no, it's impossible. It's not possible to make something as complex as a phone with a bunch of people. And that made it even more interesting, because if you say impossible, I, you know, I think, great, let's do it. So we went to Congo, and we, you know, we went there to find out that there's no such thing as a fair mine. We went to China to find out that there's no such thing as a fair factory. But what we did find out 
that there, is that there are a lot of initiatives already working on improvements in the supply chain. And what, what if we put those improvements into the phone and make it a best practice? Fairphone started as an awareness campaign about conflict minerals in 2010 and became an independent company in 2013 based in Amsterdam with more than 100,000 users and 250,000 community members. So you've got a new phone and you didn't really know what to do with your old one or you thought you might use it again, so you dumped it in a drawer. Life goes on, right? So we quizzed our resource efficiency manager to get a few more facts. What is the problem? Yearly, only 15% of the phones sold are being recovered. Does my old phone have any value? Yes, of course, they can still be reused or recycled. What would the impact be if it was recycled? We would be recovering a lot of valuable materials like gold, silver, copper, palladium, you name it. And what if one million of these phones got reused? On top of saving a lot of materials, we would be cutting down 20 million kilograms CO2 emissions to the world, because those phones would not need to be manufactured again. Be a part of us. Reuse your phone, save materials, and cut down CO2. Fairphone believes partnerships and like-minded communities are key to achieve systemic change. We are honored to be part of such initiatives and work together to make our ambitions for fairer electronics a reality.